Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my math videos. Um, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the quadratic equation uh, using the quadratic formula. And there's two really popular ways uh, to solve quadratic equations and one of them is by factoring and one of them is by using the quadratic formula. And factoring is a little quicker and a little easier uh, than using the quadratic equation. Uh, however, uh, not every equation can be factored and sometimes your teacher just says that you have to use the quadratic formula. Um, so for that, uh, for those particular um, examples that you have to use the quadratic formula, um, I'm going to teach you uh, how to solve these equations doing that. Um, and in order to use the quadratic formula, the equation has to be in standard form. Uh, what I mean by that is that it has to be equal to zero. All the terms, uh, all the x terms and numbers have to be on the left, and everything has to be equal uh, to zero. And the formula has three letters, it has a, b, and c, and the a is always the number in front of the x squared term. The b is always the number in front of the x term, or the middle number, and the c is always the number that does not have an x term that is not attached to an x term. Uh, so for this particular example, um, our a is the number 2, which is in front of the x squared term. Our b is also equal to 2 because the 2 is in front of the x term. And our c, which is the number with no x term, um, is negative 5. So the, formula, so the formula we use to solve this equation is the quadratic formula, which I wrote for you in green in the bottom left-hand part of the screen. And it's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I wouldn't waste my time trying to memorize it. The more practice uh, you do with these type of problems, it'll become easier for you. And it's not too bad. The only thing you have to do is really just plug in all your numbers. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to plug all our, all our numbers into this equation. So our, we have our x is equal to negative b. Um, so our b is 2. Um, so negative b would be negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which our b is 2, so it would be 2 squared minus 4 times a which our a is 2, multiplied by c, which our c is negative 5. And all of this is divided by 2a, and once again our a is 2. So now the only thing we have to do uh, to solve this problem is to simplify this as much as possible. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just simplify uh, the square root. So I'm going to write everything else exactly the same and I'm just going to simplify the square root. And the square root is 2 squared which is just 4 and then we have a negative 4 multiplied by 2 which is negative 8 and negative 8 multiplied by negative 5 is positive 40. And all of this is divided by 2 times 2, uh, which is 4. Now I'm going to simplify the square root even more. And this equation becomes x equals negative 2 plus or minus, and 4 plus 40 is 44, so I'm going to write it as a square root of 44. And now the square root can be simplified even more because a square root of 44 can also be written as a square root of 4 times a square root of 11 uh, because 4 times 11 is equal to 44. Okay? And the square root of 4 is a perfect square root, so we know that we can rewrite that as 2, and the square root of 11 cannot be simplified anymore, so that stays the same. 
So the square root of 44, in other words, can be simplified as 2 times the square root of 11. Okay, and uh, if you don't know how to simplify square roots, um, I do have a video about simplifying square roots um, that I highly suggest you watch. I don't want to spend too much time uh, talking about that uh, because I'm trying to teach uh, the quadratic formula. But uh, but yeah, the square root of 44 can be simplified to 2 times the square root of 11. Um, so you always want to try and simplify as much as possible. Um, so now I'm going to rewrite this equation as negative 2 plus or minus instead of writing the square root of 44 I'm going to write 2 times the square root of 11 all divided by 4 and last but not least we have to move on to our last step and we have to check if all the terms have something in common so we have three terms we have a negative 2 we have a 2 square root of 11 and we have 4. And if you notice, all those three terms have a common factor of 2. You know, because negative 2 can be divided by 2 easily, uh, 2 square root of 11 can be divided by 2 easily, and 4 uh, can be divided by 2 e uh, easily. Um, so since they all have a common factor of 2, uh, we need to simplify this even more. And what I like to do is just rewrite the formula exactly the way it is with a little space on top. And to simplify it, you need to divide every term by what they have in common. Uh, so since they all have a 2 in common, I'm going to divide every term by 2. And finally, we arrive at our final answer. Uh, negative 2 divided by 2 is just negative 1. Plus or minus. 2 square root of 11 divided by 2. If you just notice, the 2's cancel out, so that just becomes a square root of 11. All divided by 4 over 2. 4 divided by 2 is just 2. Now this equation cannot be simplified anymore we have simplified it as much as possible, so this is our final answer. So I hope this video helped you understand the quadratic formula a little better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, mathmeeting.com. And also, if you like my style of teaching and you want to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, once again, I thank you for watching my video, and take care.